good morning. I have made it to Holsterwald, which is a uh, nature area in the province of Flevoland. Uh, the area that I'm going to be walking in is called Distille Garen, which translated means the silent core. Um, this area, you can go off of the paths to walk, and it is also home to the Koenigs horses. Even though they were introduced, they are wild horses. So that is going to be the goal for today, to try and find the horses. Holsterwald is actually the largest deciduous forest area in the Netherlands and it's got 900 hectares of ground where nature actually just gets to do its thing. So there's a minimum intervened by uh, park rangers. Also due to that it's where forest meets water, there's a lot of lake and like swampy area in this location. It is also home to a lot of birds, especially in September, but now as I'm walking I can hear birds everywhere. My initial plan was to take the five and a half kilometer ranger route through the area. I walked down to the lake. I think I'm going to be taking a big loop around the lake. So <laughs> that is what we'll be doing today. I'm just going to take my time. Uh, there's a lot of signs of horses here. Like this pile of horse dung. <laughs> So I think there is a big chance. Um, I will be going to a watchtower later on uh, that gives you panoramic views of the area. However, today is a very misty day. It's starting to clear up, it looks like. So hopefully it clears up a little bit more so I can actually see the view of the silent core or the still again. Like the sun is trying to break through. <laughs> we might be lucky today. The thing I can really put a smile on my face is the sound of woodpeckers. So far, I've heard about three or four, and I just love the chat against the trees because you know they're up there <laughs> all the other birds you also know they're up there but they are busy working hard now it definitely looks like the mist has fully cleared up which is great because it's giving me a bit more uh, viewing possibility still haven't seen any horses was able to get a couple of pictures of woodpeckers um, but it's allowing me to look deep into the bush so I'm also spotting a lot more birds which is great um, and yeah it's just overall a really nice sunny day now. So, fingers crossed, we found what we, look, we came looking for. While I was walking, I came to the lake and there I met this woman. I saw her actually on her knees in the bushes. So I actually thought that she had spotted the horses, but she hadn't, but um, she walks here more often than I and she has taken me off trail uh, to an area that the horses often are seen. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a little round here to see if I can spot them. So I'm going to have a little walk around and hopefully spot some wild horses here. So I found this weird <laughs> cabin thing as I'm going off trail and I'm starting to get the feeling that this is probably the wildest thing I'm going to see. I have not been able to find any wild horses. I've seen a lot of their dung. I've also seen fox dung. I've seen a lot of paw prints from fallow deer and horses and uh, all that. But I haven't actually heard the horses. Uh, so I think for today we're probably not going to find them which is quite unfortunate. I was really hoping to be able to see them. But um, yeah, it doesn't look like the luck is with us today. Although I didn't find the horses, I ended up walking back to the trail and enjoying the routes along the lake. It was nice to see all the birds and to hear them. 
After I finished my walk, I ended the walk at the watchtower called the Tuurtoren. The Tuurtoren is a watchtower of about 12 meters high and can be reached by either foot or bicycle. It offers panoramic views of the lake and the Stille Cairn, which translated means the silent call. Unfortunately, last week in Holsterwald, I did not see any uh, Königsparde or wild horses, but I'm not ready to give up just yet. So I'm going to be making my way to Wassenaar or the area of Wassenaar to a, a nature area called Lentevreugd. And Lentevreugd is more as a, a, of a juni marshy area compared to Holsterwald, which was uh, foresty, um, to go and find horses. We'll see. I'm looking forward to another little adventure. So uh, it's going to be a short drive, about 25 minutes, which is great. Uh, I didn't feel like driving long today anyways. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed that today's adventure does bring some horses. <laughs> so they're actually busy making these paths more accessible for um, people with a physical disability so that the uh, area is also uh, more easily accessible for people in a wheelchair so that is why we are on these uh, cement blocks because um, first I was like well why are we not walking on a natural path and then my mom was saying that she read that they are busy doing construction so that people in a wheelchair can actually come and enjoy this area as well so i think that is a really cool idea um, to make this accessible to everyone scratching himself So the nature reserve of Lentevreugd is actually an old bulb region from the 1920s that has been converted into this area. It is now a transition area between dunes and the polder region, giving it quite a, a marshy feel in some places. But 40% of the region it has sandy subsoil with very low vegetation. And this vegetation is kept low by 45 uh, Scottish Highlanders and 15 Königsbarde or Königs horses, which is also the reason, that I the reason why I came here today. And we've spotted one a little bit further down, so I'm really excited because we've finally found my horse, so we're going to go check them out. Sparda or Konigs horses have their origins in Poland and White Russia. Here they were trying to breed back a horse that had gone extinct and this is how the Konigs horse came to be a new breed. These horses were then introduced also in the Netherlands in various national parks to help keep vegetation low. And to be honest, I think they're quite amazing to see. still are here because they keep coming up to us and I don't know if it's if they're wanting to chase us or if they want food I'm not really good in horse body language but um, I'm not feeling really comfortable with them coming up this close to me my mom definitely isn't <laughs> so uh, we are going to be uh, walking off and enjoying the rest of the walk here in Lentefrucht but I am glad that I got to see the horses <laughs> To keep the vegetation low in this area, grazers were introduced. So 45 of the grazers are um, Scottish Highlanders, but 15 of the grazers are the Königs Parda or Königs horses. And uh, they, were, they were introduced in 2006 to give some variation to the grazing in this area. It keeps the vegetation low and it, allows, uh, the, it doesn't allow the vegetation to take over the area so that it can stay the dune area that it is. Besides being home to these two large mammals, uh, over a hundred 
different species of birds have been found here in Lentevreugd. And also it has uh, got a very high population of dragonflies and butterflies. The reason for this is in 2013, uh, the Dutch uh, Butterfly uh, Foundation or Stichting Flender introduced a butterfly route. And between October and April, they actually um, go with volunteers out into this route and they inventory the different species of butterfly and dragonflies. So you can imagine that when there's a lot more flowers and vegetation here, this place is going to be full of butterflies and dragonflies. Uh, and then besides that, it's also great that the large mammals are not dewormed, so that allows a lot of soil life, including dung be beetles, to call this place their home as well. And then apparently the very rare, the wasp spider can also be found here. After an adventure spread over two weekends, I was finally able to find the Koenig's horses at Lentevreugd. After a nice walk with my mom, we decided to call it a day, head home and enjoy some coffee.